I want to give you two steps that will allow you to kick a bad habit or even an addiction if this is something that would serve you. So often an addiction, substance abuse, cigarette smoking, or any bad habit that we no longer want. The mistake we make, or at least this is how I understand it today because this is something I help my clients very often with. One of the biggest mistakes we make about this is that we judge this, let's just say bad habit or addiction. And I can understand where that comes from. Of course, you know, some people get to the point, they're like, I'm just sick and tired of this. I don't want to be like this anymore. I don't want to be dependent. I want to be able to stop this. And I've tried everything and I think I need more willpower. Why can't I be stronger? And so with that comes a lot of judgment, a lot of criticism, a lot of blame, shame even guilt, anger. I mean, it's just fueled with all these negative emotions. And again, I can understand why this is frustrating, obviously, right? But the truth is, giving it all of that negative attention, the question to ask is, how is that working for you, right? Chances are it probably makes it worse because what we're doing by fueling this with more negative energy, we're actually giving it more attention. But rather than giving it positive attention, we're giving it negative attention and this is why it backfires and this is why it feels like this is getting worse and worse and worse so that is not a good approach okay instead here's the two steps and the first one please forgive me it's not going to be easy but i'm going to unpack and explain so that you can apply this and see how useful it is okay Number one is acceptance. Now, that does not mean, well, this is just how it is. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh, well, no, no, no. Acceptance means I acknowledge that this is what's happening now. I get it. I am totally aware to it. I am present to it. I have conscious awareness of it. And I am willing to look at it and to face it without, important, are you listening? <laughs> without judgment. Now, with neither, just be neutral, just be Switzerland for now. Just notice this is what is. When you have that, excellent. Very, very powerful first step. Number two then, and again, you might be a little curious about this one, but it works really beautiful because it, again, the point is to help you dissolve this um, habit, this addiction, right? I want you to ask yourself, what is the positive intention this habit or addiction could possibly give me? That's right. What is the positive intention? Because of course we understand that if we continue doing this, there are going to be a lot of negative consequences. We're not looking, you already did the homework on that. You're good on that. Most likely you have already calculated 60 times forwards and backwards how this habit is bad and you need to stop. I get that. We now need to understand what is this habit doing for you that is positive. I'm going to give you a simple example. So often when I help my clients with a smoking cessation and I ask them that question, I insist on asking that question and eventually they surrender, they will say something like, well, it helps me relax or it helps me to take a break or it helps me to connect with my father. It helps me to be social. It helps me to, um, again, most of the time it's to de-stress. Now notice the positive intention. There it is. Now your creative part can come in and you can start to inquire, okay, if the positive intention is relaxation, what can I do to help me relax without having to smoke? And when you put your attention to that inquiry, when you can become curious about that, all of a sudden you will see how quickly your mind helps you and serves you and gives you solutions to what you can do instead. And just with these two steps, believe it or not, you might actually gently, easily, and softly dissolve this addiction or habit. Let me know if you have any questions. If you want more help, I'm here for you.